Right, so now we're going to be moving on to the questionnaire. Um, so this is, this is the finalized, completed questionnaire uh, based on two um, exploratory uh, tested surveys plus uh, two focus groups, uh, which allowed us to, uh, to kind of reaffirm the key points that we wanted to cover and to avoid uh, some kind of uh, false responses or non-needed responses. So, in, if, for example, in the first part, we, we siphon off non-smokers um, to, to not continue with the report, which made our an analysis far simpler um, on the long term. And we have a category for non-smokers who don't smoke anymore, ex-smokers. They answer only a couple of questions. We will explain why we did this later on in the presentation. And then we ask them which brand of cigarette do they prefer and what is their reason behind their choosing brand. Alright, so uh, we're going to move on to the data analysis. The first question that we asked them it was, are you or have you ever been a smoker? And out of 702 samples that we took, 676 said yes, they, they have been a smoker or they, they are a smoker. And only 26 of them said no, they are not a smoker which, when they say no, they're not going to participate in our questionnaire anymore. The next question was, are you currently a smoker? This played a key part in our questionnaire as uh, if they weren't currently a smoker, they would answer only a couple of questions. And as you can see here, the total number of sm smokers were, total number of people sampled was 676. Out of them, uh, 512 were yes to smoking and 164 no to smoking. Uh, so uh, from this point, we, uh, we did an interrelated data analysis considering age and uh, current and previous smokers. Uh, this highlighted that 18 to 25 year olds um, or the strata had the majority of uh, people sampled uh, which were current smokers, uh, with the lowest being 41 plus. However, comparatively, it's, it's visible that um, the 41 plus strata actually, or the 41 plus uh, criteria or bracket actually had far more previous smokers than the 18 to 25, which would kind of go along with what we would have expected. So illustrating this um, uh, chart, you can see uh, this, this kind of similarity in trend um, or progression. Later on, out of all of our uh, applicants, we ask for their gender, and which is obviously there is no surprise. There are more men smoker rather than female, and as you can see in the figure, around 450 men are smoker, which is 67 percent of all of our uh, applicants. The next one was splitting our samples into ethnic backgrounds. So we had total of 676 samples. Out of them, the majority were whites which was 302. The other categories were Hispanic, Asian, and Black. The least we had was Hispanic, and that's about it in this category. Um, however, uh, again, we did an inter interrelated data analysis considering ethnicity, gender, and age, which uh, basically allowed us to identify any biases uh, within our sample. Um, and you can see in this kind of, uh, well, illustratively um, expressed in this uh, chart, that um, there's certain areas which were lacking in respondents. Um, I mean, uh, for example, females 41 plus that were Hispanic had a very low sample uh, relative to, uh, say, Asian females that were 18 to 25, um, or white. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it kind of helps uh, improve the validity of our data. Later on, we asked them which brand do they prefer or which brand they smoke, and almost third of our applicant they smoke Marlboro, which is 147 applicant, and the rest either they are using e-cigarette or other brand. And later on, in next following slide, we will tell what's the reason behind smoking Marlboro or other brand. I think just another key point to mention, or uh, which is very interesting, is um, out of all the samples that we uh, we got. 29% um, were Marlboro smokers, which practically accounts for a third um, of, uh, of our sample, uh, which are current smokers, but additionally demonstrates um, the, the kind of significance 
um, and uh, potability of Marlboro's uh, brand image currently, um, holding such a high uh, market share relative to other brands um, done in the, or compared in the, the sample. Um, um, th this is the preference relative to brand of choice. As you can see in this spider graph, uh, the people who chose other brands, they chose it for primarily for the price, and few of them chose it for habitual. The price was a key factor as compared to Marlboro, where people had barely any people selected Marlboro for price. Most of the people who selected Marlboro were for taste and for habitual. This chart will provide a clear image of smokers' brand preferences, showing, smoke, showing smokers choose to smoke Marlboro because of taste, habitual appearance, though the majority of smokers smoke other brands due to pre-affordability relative to Marlboro. Later on, we had asked them how many cigarettes do they smoke per day, and majority of them said between 1 to 10, which is 77% of our applicants. And uh, also we asked them if they would consider a stopping, which is 62% of them said no, which is interesting. Uh, that can be because of habit or other reason. Uh, um, we noticed when we then asked them, have you ever tried e-cigarettes, um, that 38% uh, of our current respondents have said they would, uh, well, sorry, they would consider stopping, um, actually um, contributed to the 37% that also said um, they had also tried e-cigarettes. So um, you can see 90% or 170 or 189 sampled um, accounts for the great majority of those people which um, said they would, um, they would use e-cigarettes to quit. Um, and then when you then consider, would you consider switching to e-cigarettes, that 90% uh, of the 189 sample that said they would consider switching and said they would um, uh, consider stopping, um, only 48% of those respondents said they would actually consider switching um, on a, on a long-term basis, which demonstrates that people are considering the use of e-cigarettes to help them quit uh, smoking, however, not necessarily all of the participants that uh, try e-cigarettes and want to quit will, will actually pro progress to utilizing e-cigarettes uniquely um, demonstrated in this. However, it should also be considered that 75% of um, the, those respondents accounted for um, or sorry, those responded accounted for 75% of uh, the, um, uh, the overall sample that says they would consider switching to e-cigarettes. Um, this is a chart showing the preference related to why Soviet smokers would or wouldn't consider switching to e-cigarettes. As you can see in this spider graph, uh, the people who said no to e-cigarettes said no major specifically due to taste. And the, and the people who said yes to e-cigarettes chose it specifically for the price. Well, I think mean, another point was just that, um, uh, interestingly enough, one of the like, key contributors for why people would consider switching was also one of the uh, counter arguments for why people wouldn't uh, consider switching. So people don't necessarily, either they do or they don't like the flavor, it's like Marmite. <laughs> um, and um, with, with regards to uh, the health aspects of um, e-cigarettes, it also again demonstrates that there's this uh, a kind of a, a uncertainty uh, amongst the public as to what the actual safety is of, um, of smoking e-cigarettes. Yeah. The reasons for previous smokers having used or not e-cigarettes and quitting to switch to e-cigarettes. Uh, the people who said no to this chose it specifically for health factors as opposed to any other factor. And the people who said yes, which was a small, small sample, chose it specifically because of price, but it's not a big enough sample to determine that. So that means e-cigarette, it's not common yet that much, and people are not sure if that's a good replacement for normal cigarette or for switching. There is huge uncertainty among the e-cigarette at the moment. Yeah, um, so you can see there's a, there's a direct correlation between our previous uh, slide with um, uh, the current smokers' perceptions and then also the previous smokers' perceptions. It's a high, high percentage of uncertainty. 
Um, so this is a comparative uh, data analysis, uh, just re-representing the, the previous two uh, charts. Um, and and it, it kind of reiterates and, and demonstrates the, the reasons why people are or aren't considering to switch um, to e-cigarettes and why they're not using or are using e-cigarettes. Um, so as the point I just mentioned with uh, health uh, factors, you've got a high percentage here and vice versa, again, high percentage um, of respondents. Um, yeah. There's a high percentage that chooses taste as well. Yeah, well, again, yes. like that's, that, that was the thing that could be really evidently acknowledged in the previous slides was that kind of discrepancy, the high percentage of previous smokers that, uh, I mean, of, of existing smokers that uh, like the taste and would consider switching relative to a high proportion that said they didn't like the taste and that's why they wouldn't switch. Um, and then finally, the conclusion. Yeah, one third of our smoker sample uh, smoked Marlboro, which we already said in the previous uh, slide. And but the reason behind that is mostly because of the taste and appearance and habit. And which demonstrated a strong brand yeah. image of Marlboro. Yeah. Marlboro competition, other than combustible cigarettes, compete predominantly through price which goes to say that people, the people who did not choose Marlboro uh, 